so it will begin to worry you. Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that you. like button, please do subscribe. About you. The time is 9.46am. Because the they cleaners just can't that you don't are want in them. the opposite flat. And you don't stand for what they stand I have for. not gone out yet. You may decide I am not wearing shorts. From someone else, but just I not am a them. female. I am listening that to a YouTube video not at the share about a narc survivor. So it's never going to be something survivor. like that. Sorry, man. Unless they're able to trick you. Five signs you are being gangstalked. So That's what I'm listening because to. Because they already moment. understand that Five it's the only way they're going to have a way in. Gangstalked. They're misleading you and making you believe there's something that they're not. But if you catch on, it will make you very uncomfortable. And you will do everything in your power to try to resist them. Because you already know it's not going to make your life better. You already know it's not going to lead you anywhere good. You know that if you give them power and control of your life, it's going to be very unfavorable for you. And you may have learned that based on something you experienced with them, or from something you experienced in the past. But you already know it's not going to do you any good. So whenever you're around them, you will still resist it. Even though at times it may be tempting. Even though they may have broken you down and you may react differently to how you used to. In the back of your mind, you know you don't really want it. Because you know that it's unwise. And they know it. They sense it. Which is why the show must go on. Because they just can't accept that you're never going to give in. You're never going to be who they want you to be. You're always going to desire something real. So that is what Charlie is doing to me. Charlie is making unwanted advances. And when he was outside the co-op yesterday, he went, hello, dear. And that's how the texter talks to me. Hello, darling. Hello, dear. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, beautiful. So he's purposely dressing disgusting, acting horrible to frighten me. And to stay indoors. And even though you may accept certain things at times... You're never going to feel fulfilled. You're always going to want something different. That is the whole point of this to scare me to stay in form. This is wide open. The meter box is wide open, guys. Just shut it. This is danger. Someone keeps leaving this open. Keeps leaving it open. So the lift is dirty. It's dirty. It's not clean, is it? And it smells. Doesn't smell nice. Doesn't smell nice in here at all. And there's stains all over the floor. 
as this opposite as the So they're not cleaning the flat properly, they're not cleaning the flats, they're dirty. I've noticed that over the past couple of days, they're not cleaning the, the flats properly. There's stains on the floor and the lift stinks. <laughs> it's supposed to look like my neighbour's car, but it isn't. That's not his car. Similar, but it's not his car. Just getting clued up about gang stalking and how they go down your social media, see what you're wearing, see what you sound like, <laughs> try and mimic and copy, <laughs> try and make you feel bad about yourself and there's nothing wrong with me at all, nothing at all. Um, they've done it to someone else and um, they've been bullied off of social media. <laughs> They're not doing it to me. The car's got ho on it, H O, ho. Did I tell you that I went to church, K I C C C church? Um, someone came up to my son in the middle of uh, Chatham High Street, and uh, me and my son went to church, and it was majority black majority of the people going to that church were black. KICC Church, Buckmore Park, Maidstone Road. And uh, there is a um, KICC Church in Ho Street, Walthamstow. Walthamstow is where the band East 17 comes from. And a member of that is Brian Harvey. Brian Harvey is a member of East 17 and he comes from Walthamstow. Just interesting facts. Nothing more, I'm not saying anything. But someone keeps bullying people off of YouTube. If I'm that interesting, they want to follow me about and be do stuff they can because it's all being recorded. And if that guy appears on this field again, I will call the police again until they stop doing it because I don't dress like a tramp, I don't smell like a tramp. <laughs> And if they that that's if that's their opinion, they can fuck off because it's not mine. <laughs> I had a message on Badu this morning, but my um, my phone wouldn't let me get into it, so I haven't replied to it because it said uh, your status is offline. What you've got to remember is these people, I don't even fucking know them. <laughs> I don't want to know people like that, do I? Of course I don't. 
No one intimidates me. However tall they are. <laughs> they don't. They, they, send, they used to send seven foot blokes into Sainsbury's. About seven foot. And the coppers used to come up to Lansdowne Court, yeah. The coppers. Fucking gun holes. Guns in their holsters. And fucking handcuffs. When I called the police out for me. <laughs> so they, they walk around with mean faces. I've been looking up this gang stalking business. They, they walk around all mean and nasty, intimidating. Because <laughs> the builders were involved with that bloke that abused me, they were laughing. <laughs> So they purposely make horrible sexual advances, thinking that's sort of going to destroy your sp spirit. <laughs> it's done on purpose. He never had any interest in me at all. He's, he'd been sent to do that. <laughs> Of course, the, the King Charles has got cancer. He's got cancer. So the the day the day after I received those messages about child, um, this person having bladder cancer, King Charles doesn't smoke, by the way. He doesn't. Camilla does, but King Charles doesn't. So. Um, are they mocking the monarch? Are they taking the piss out of the monarch? I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> because when I first met Charlie, he was talking about Charles and Camilla's love child in Australia. <laughs> I don't know if King Charles has got bladder cancer. But this, that, that text that said he had, not that he, not Charles, but he had bladder cancer. <laughs> and then what's happened to Kate Middleton? Nobody knows how Kate Middleton is, do they? How is Kate? Same thing applies, guys, today. If they start that nuisance fight, they learn. They're not controlling me. They learn how to behave, not the other way round. <laughs> the green crane there. I'm not being controlled and manipulated. They don't behave themselves. They get. They get. Well, that's it, and that. They're sexually perverted, deliberately, it's done on purpose. I've been looking up gang stalking videos, I've been learning all about it from people that have suffered it themselves. Funeral bells, do you hear it? Funeral bells that is, that ain't bells chiming, it's funeral bells. We went through all this at Gloucestershire with the hang nooses on the trees. They started hanging nooses from the trees. Nooses! I know why it's happening. I know where it's come from. And I'm completely innocent. I'm trying to prove as well.
Hi, O2 here as I'm walking across the field. I don't like it because I've caught on to what they're doing. And I keep coming out every morning, whatever they do to me. They don't like it, they want to break your spirit. Make you feel bad about yourself when they're ugly and nasty inside. <laughs> also remember, when they make up fake profiles with derogatory names, they're, they're calling themselves that. They're not calling me that, they're calling themselves that. <laughs> so they probably are, Gary. <laughs> they are. <laughs> And when people uh, draw up fake profiles and say nasty things, they're talking about themselves, guys. They're insecure and sad people. They're talking about themselves. So anybody else going through this, if you get called derogatory names on TikTok, they're talking about themselves. They're sad fuckers. Well, because they, if they had any truth to what they were saying, they would show their face. And they don't, because they're cowards as well. Chickens. <laughs> They've got no proof. Nothing. They're just a waste of space. And I'm not sure I'm actually getting in contact with the police when I ring up the fucking police number either. And remember, if the police ain't going, coming out to people thieving out of shops, they ain't going to do much else either, are they? A lot of people are witnessing it now. Shop theft. Someone's allowing them to do it. Probably fucking bent security staff. <laughs> That's what happened in Gloucestershire. The security staff was bent. All they've got to do is say, right, so and so's in here. Just let them take what they want. <laughs> You've got a mate in the security staff. <laughs> Another thing nasty criminals do is get kids to steal. Children. Because children can't get prosecuted, can they? So far it's pretty quiet it's not so hot as it was yesterday but they 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 purposely shove sex in my face and I don't want them any of them it's not the other way around it's me I don't want them When I was going along with it and I was being abused and fucking pulling my hair, slapping me like a dog, they loved it. Now they're looking at me like... <clears throat> Oh, they can bang, they can bang doors, they can slam, they can shout, they can swear, but you can't fucking touch me. <laughs> My mum has it fun. And, um, you know, you wonder where this is coming from, don't you? I'm going to stick to you like glue. Yeah, well, fuck off. <laughs> glue comes unstuck. <laughs> Lorry there, peering round the back.
Yeah, lorry driving off round there. <laughs> I used to get someone come over here with a big dog. It made me jump out my skin. Like I said, I don't mind people walking dogs, I don't mind an, a an accident, but when, when somebody deliberately takes a dog off when they see you and lets it jump all over me and my dog, that's not an accident. <laughs> Send that dirty tramp out. Every time he appears, I'm going to call the police until they stop it. See you later.